Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. What do they want from you? This is going to be for Aquarius. Uh, you could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 2022. Um, so we're going to take a look at the person that is recently coming back into your life. Uh, we're going to take a look to see what this person wants from you and uh, what will happen if you allow this person back into your life. Um, so free for you to apply this to your own unique situation. It also could be a situation that you're dealing with somebody who is not letting their uh, letting you know what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. Um, it could be with a friend, a family member, a co-worker. It doesn't have to be love related. Um, you could switch the roles if you want. Uh, what else? Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, what else? If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, these are general messages. So um, uh, the, these are general messages for the collective Aquarius. This is not like a personal reading where I'm tapping into one specific uh, person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading where it's tailored to your own specific energies, to your own unique situation, I suggest you booking a private personal reading with me. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested, like I said, uh, if you uh, would like to book a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Okay, so let's get started. What messages do we have for Aquarius regarding the person that is coming back into Aquarius's life? Or the person that Aquarius is currently dealing with? What does this person want with Aquarius? What do this person want with Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Signs for February 2022. What does this person want with Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Signs for February 2022. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I do have feelings, you know, even if I'm dead. Hmm. This is a Harry Potter deck, by the way. Let's see what else we have here. Nine of Cups. I care more about winning the cup than I do about staying alive. So I, I'm feeling like this person is in love with you, okay? I feel like this person, uh, you know, is seeing you as their wish fulfillment. This person wants to come towards you and basically tell you how, how they feel. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Three Empress energy here. You have the Seven of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. And then the Sun, Leo Energy. Nine of Pentacles. Moment they start moving into each other's pots, we know they're mature. Okay, so some here, someone here, you know, might be seeing you, someone here who is, uh, you know, independent, you know, who's an, uh, abundant, or that someone here is actually maturing and growing up. Seven of Cups, this is interesting. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. So this is someone who could be a bit of a trickster. This person, you know, might have might cause a bit of confusion here and illusions here too. Uh, Eight of Swords, differences of habits and languages, a language are, not, are nothing if our aims are identical. The sun, Phoenix bursts into flames when it's time to die and reborn from the ashes. So I feel like someone here is trying to break free of um, a mental prison that they're in, a mental, emotional, physical prison that they're in. Someone here could be going through a rebirth here or a transformation or an awakening here. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Page of Wands. 
We have the Hermit. A pity that they let the old punishments die. Someone here is definitely going through some big changes here. I feel like someone here is trying to change their behavior. I feel like someone here is trying to mature. You know, I feel like also it's a situation that, you know, this person's presenting themselves this way to you, but I feel like you don't trust this person because this person has tricked you in the past. Uh, Nine of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. We did it. We banished them. It's the energy of, I can feel like it, there's an energy of, you know, removing this old energy and then starting uh, starting new again. So this could be the person that's going through this. This could be you that's going through this. You could be going through, you know, you could be going through this energy where you're learning a lot about yourself at this point, where someone here is learning a lot about, about themselves. So Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Could be dealing with another Aquarius. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here. The Six of Pentacles. When it comes to dark arts, I believe in practical approaches. You know, this is about equal give and take here. This is about balance. So I feel like there's this energy of someone here trying to balance themselves out or trying to find balance within themselves here. And like I said, I feel like there's this energy that someone here is giving to themselves so that they could grow and mature here. Uh, Seven of Cups. Four of Wands. I have a look inside your mind and tell where you belong. I feel like this person knows where they belong and I feel like this person feels like they belong with you. Tell me about the Eight of Swords here. You got the Ace of Wands. For Ravenclaw, the cleverest would always be the best. The Sun, Five of Wands. We don't send wizards to as Ask a band for just blowing up their aunts. All right, we have the Ace of Wands here. So there's still passion here. Someone here could be thinking about someone. Five of Wands. This is an energy where someone here is perhaps ready to fight for this connection. Okay, we have the Lovers. You'll stay. You'll stay with me until the very end. This is on the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy. Let's see what else we have here. What will happen if Aquarius allowed this person back into their life? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 2022. What will happen if Aquarius allowed this person back into their life? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 2022. We have judgment. Ones that, ones that love us never really leave us. You can always find them in, in here. So I feel like this is a situation where I feel like their love, this person's love for you has never died. Even though you guys were apart, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. Four of Cups, it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. So someone here is sort of coming into their own. Like I said, someone here is changing, someone here is growing, someone here is maturing, someone here is going through like a huge awakening. All right? We have the King of Wands. Saying the magic worlds properly is very important. So this is someone here going for what they want. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sag. Let's see what else we have here. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles. Age is foolish and forgetful when it's underestimates youth. That is interesting. I don't quite know what that means. But we have the Four of Pentacles here. This is someone here that's not, you know, ready to let you go or let this connection go yet. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles. Every human life is worth the same and worth saving. So, seems like this is a very mystical, you know, deck so i feel like someone here has never given up on somebody i feel uh let's get one more here and then we have the two of pentacles just so you know he's a bloody coward 
this could be a situation where, you know, you could be thinking of this, you could be thinking of this person, this person could be thinking this of you because, you know, maybe this person is having a hard time making a decision here. We have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. It's all to do with blood. Blood will out. So there's a lot of like, you know, blood, sweat, and tears that has gone, uh, gone into this, or like someone here has experienced a lot of blood, sweat, and tears by going through this experience here with somebody. Um, tell me about judgment. Queen of Pentacles, I'll teach you a lot and treat them just the same. We got the Four of Cups and, oh God. And the Seven of Swords, shame, it doesn't come with a parachute. This could be you right here, Aquarius. I mean, you can place yourself where you see fit. Either you're this, oh, we have the true pair here, by the way, the Kings and Queen of Pentacles. So this is you, could be this energy of protecting yourself or trying to get away from this person. Let's see. Or that this person could be, someone here could be really sneaky because we saw that, you know, with the Seven of Cups, someone is up to no good. Knight of Wands and Wands choose the wizard. So clarifying the King of Wands here. So, so someone here is clearly going for what they want. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have the Three of Wands. What's the point if all the good looking girls are taken? Wow. Nine of Wands and the King of Pentacles. The truth, it is a beautiful and terrible thing. Two of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Once again, you show all the sensitivity of a blunt axe. All right, three of Wands with the Four of Pentacles here. I feel like someone here, this masculine is definitely yearning for somebody. This Queen of Pentacles, but I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is trying to protect themselves, trying to get away. Uh, we have the Nine of Wands and the King of Pentacles here. Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So someone here could be going through this huge transformation where they're going from like a page to like a king or something like that. Queen of Cups. Why is it what when something happens, it's always you? Yeah, I just feel like someone's feelings towards you has never changed. The problem is I feel like someone here is not very trustworthy, okay? I feel like here someone here is a bit of a trickster. You know, someone here caused a bit of confusion here. So let's see what else we have here. What else do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Let's try this one here. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss and holiday time together. This could be, you know, something that you want to retreat and get away yourself so that you can find new love or that, you know, for some of you guys, you guys might be entertaining, um, you know, giving this another go, perhaps, okay? Because the feelings have never really changed. The feelings has always been there. The problem is I feel like this person is really hard to trust. Get more information. You see, I feel like this person is really not telling you um, you know, how they truly feel, uh, or the, perhaps, you know, they're telling you how they truly feel, but the intentions are not being known or being spoken of, okay? Like, what's the plan? Where are we going with this? A personal issue reaches resolution. So whatever you're looking for here, I feel like someone here might get some answers that they're looking for. Work through your fears. So someone here has to work through their fears. It could be your person here that needs to work through their fears, okay? Because uh, I'm getting a very shifty energy here. What else do we have here? Toxic love. A love interest will seem to bring out the worst in you, but you can't seem to stay... Yeah, you see? It's like, even though this is... Maybe a bad connection for you. I feel like someone here keeps going back because, you know, someone's feelings here uh, is not changing. Or that you guys have a strong soul tie settling in love. Maybe you've given up on finding true love and decided to set up for second best. Don't make that mistake. You know, I feel like don't settle for something that, you know, is not working out for you. Because I just feel like someone here is setting themselves up for more pain and grief. Um, in 
intuition, you already know the answers that you seek. Yeah, I do feel like you already know spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. So this is a lesson that you might be learning here. It might, been, might have taken a bit of time here for you, for the other person, but I feel like you are learning it. False person. You see, I feel like this person is up to no good. Yeah, I feel like your feelings for this person has not changed, but this person is like up to no good. Yeah, I just feel like you still love this person with gifts. I feel like this person might be sending you a lot of messages. Uh, you, you know, this person could be setting you up for despair here, okay? So just be careful, Aquarius. All right. So Aquarius, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.